Water, water, water. Oh crap, man. We had a water line. I have my water closet on the other side where the, uh, the water heater is and the, the water softener. And my stud finder told me that there's a stud there, but it must have punctured it. And you're supposed to put between the studs, you're supposed to put the freaking metal plate. Crap. All right, let's rip this thing open and see what we can repair. So you've ruptured a water line in the wall while you're either attaching cabinets, hanging picture frames, or attaching maybe even shelves. I'm gonna show you exactly how to repair it. Before that happens, you need to be very familiar with your home and where its water main valve is. My water main switch is in my utility closet here, but in case you can't find yours, here's a plan B. Typically the main water meter is located in front of your home. That is where the utility company can come shut off the water if they need to, in case you forgot to pay your bill. Inside there's a main switch so you can turn it off. Now, I don't think utility companies like you doing that, but this is a plan B, just good for you to know. Next, where we puncture the hole, we're gonna cut an area. And as you can see, there's a culprit. So this right here is called PEX piping. It comes in a red or blue tradition in the house. Blue is cold, red is hot. And most faucets all throughout the house, including your shower, is gonna be a half inch PEX, except for larger ones like this. It's a three quarter inch, that's a main supply. This one specifically goes to my water softener on the other side. To fix it, first we need to cut it. Now it's still gonna have a little bit of water in there because there's a little, it's not pressurized, but some will still ooze out. Once it's cut, get yourself one of these shark bite PEX connectors. This is a coupling. It connects both males together to create a bridge. All you have to do is slide it on. All the way down, not coming off. Once you get the top piece on, it is not coming undone anymore. Now in the off chances, you maybe not have enough slack to slide this safely on so that it actually creates a watertight seal. Not to mention some plumbers actually hate these shark bites saying that they fail over time. Now I'm no expert, but this is just what they say, so I'll show you both methods. The method that they guarantee is kind of doing it the, uh, the old fashioned way essentially. Get yourself some spare PEX piping, slide a coupling inside and a PEX ring right over it. Typically the size that you're working with the pipe is the type of fittings that you need as well as the type of ring that you need. Half inch pipe, half inch ring, half inch coupling. Then using your PEX crimping tool, set an eighth gap on top from the ring to the top of the PEX line. Fit it into your connector and press until this clamp stops. That's on there. Do the same for the bottom. This method, you're gonna be required to cut a little bit out just in order to make this bend enough to make it into our connector. Get a little scribe. Perfect. Ooh, that's a good fit. Another coupling. This is fun, ain't it? Slide your ring on top of there. Slide your ring at the bottom here. Bend it in place. As you can see, it's a lot easier to make sure it goes in with these couplings. Clamp it from the top. <sighs> Folks, we're basically plumbers now. Let's turn on our water line and see how it looks. Let's go see how we did. Water's on, I can feel it flowing. And just like that, that's how you repair a ruptured water line. Hey, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out this video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy.